a 14 speed roll off hub. So it's got internal gears, 14 speed planetary gear inside of the hub. And the way we built it up is a radial lace on this side, so all the spokes are straight. And then on this side, since you have to add rigidity to it, I went ahead and did this four cross. Now you don't see a lot of wheels that are four cross, but it's pretty much necessary on this because you got a, a fat rim with a, a disc brake. It's got to be strong. So since we had to radial the other side, I went back to my BMX days and did a four cross on this side. So it overlaps the hub just slightly, but the... Um, the flanges on this hub are really, really strong because they don't stick up very high off the hub. So what you end up with is a very, very stiff, very lightweight wheel that should last for an incredibly long time without having to true it a whole bunch. What about going off cliffs? Can you uh, jump off cliffs with that thing? I think it will do just fine off cliffs. I think it depends on how high the cliff is. <laughs> Possibly uh, how good the rider is too. So. But you're not afraid of these rims breaking, right? No. These carbon no, fiber these, rims? These this are is the front one. These are strong rims. These are light but because of the mass that they have, they can build them out of carbon without any fear of breaking. Uh, I'll be surprised if I see a broken one. You'll, you'll most likely get other broken parts before rims, right. um, like forks or even frames sometimes. Um, and even if the, the rim cracks, it should stay in one piece, even if it did break. You know, um, uh, last time Luke at Live for Physics was here, we were watching uh, videos together and we we're watching this video road, road, what was it, road something? These guys were doing Danny Macaskill tricks with road bikes off road. Yeah. And I had no idea rims were so strong. They are. A lot of people are surprised about that. You can do actual BMX jumps. There's guys that do backflips on road bikes and don't break the rims. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. One kid with some guy broke his neck making that video, right? Did you hear about that? I did not. Yeah. No. Yeah. But, anyways, they were, I, I was going to ask you, they were doing those crazy tricks. I mean, uh, it's, all about, it's all about air pressure. You have to have air pressure in your tires. With these, these are fat wheels. So, you're just, they're designed to run at lower air pressure, so the rims actually have to be even stronger because if you're running lower air pressure, the rim is taking much more abuse than if you're running a high pressure. Like the guys with the road bikes that, that do all the tricks, they've got 120 to 135 PSI in their tires. So they're hard as rocks. And what that does is it actually protects the rim from hitting anything else like a rock or the ground, uh, whatever's gonna damage it. With these, you don't run as much air pressure to make it softer but you have four inches of sidewall that a lot of the other bikes don't have like those road bikes or anything else so you know it just depends on what the application is but with these um yeah you can pretty much do anything with them and if you were going to go off of cliffs i would suggest bumping up the air pressure a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey here's the thing we, could they do that with just aluminum rims or was it because they were carbon carbon rims that made them so strong because I've never seen anybody riding off-road with a road no, bike ever. Actually, it depends on how they're made. The deep, deep dish carbon rims, I would say, yeah. possibly are stronger than aluminum. But I haven't seen a lot of aluminum that is weaker than carbon. Normally speaking, under most circumstances, aluminum is stronger than carbon. Um, but that just tells you how strong rims are. Because if you could do it with carbon rims, you could certainly do it with aluminum rims. The aluminum rims, rims won't break either. But... It all comes down to the quality. Right. You know, you can have cheap carbon and expensive carbon. You can have cheap aluminum and expensive aluminum. You're gonna break the cheap carbon and the cheap aluminum doing that kind of stuff all day. Right. But if you get the expensive stuff that's well made like these, you won't have a problem. All right, man. Thanks a lot for that.